What up guys, it's your boy Mark here. Mark, welcome back to Pinoy Balance. Before we get into all about Raptors topics, let's go with the James for player highlights of the week. Uh, player highlights of the week is goes to Kyrie Irving, Andre Drummond, and Carl Anthony Towns. Kyrie had 50 points, Drummond had 32 points and 22 rebounds, and Towns had 36 points, 3 steals, 14 rebounds, and 3 blocks. Back to you, Mark. Ooh, those are some performances in the opening week of the NBA. How about some, some Raptors topics, James? What do we got for Raptors? For Raptors topic, let's talk about the season opener. As a Raptors fan, not me, what do you, <laughs> you guys feel about the Raptors opener? Well, we were at Jurassic Park. I, how, how, where were you when you watched the game? <laughs> at home, waiting for the Laker game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... What was it like for you guys to kind of witness? <laughs> what was it like for you guys to witness the, the, ring, the ring ceremony, the it banner? Is, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was, don't, don't get it twisted. I said it like if I didn't care, yeah. but I watched the whole thing. Like, yeah. It was beautiful. Did you cry too, like mm. somebody? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't cry. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> somebody did. We were at Jurassic Park when this happened. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about the game, just watching it in general? Seeing the performances of players like Van Fleet, Pascal, Lowry, Lowry. I mean, man, Lowry's speech. I just, yeah, I love the whole thing, man. Mm -hmm. It just, it was awesome. It was just, so monumental. Yeah, you could feel it. You know, oh, yeah. like you could feel it. That's I, why I cried because I felt it. Yeah. I just reminded myself of two thousand and one. And scared to pump fake. Yeah, like, oh. like, Again, yeah. Like, I could just see that all over again. And even though Kawhi shot winning. Yeah. You still remember the past, right? So yeah. it's such a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Yeah. yeah. Everyone what felt what it. were you feeling that besides, <laughs> I mean, all that rushing into, did it kind of finally sink in that, hey, we're still champions, that we still <laughs> are yeah, yeah, the team yeah. to beat? Or, oh, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. That can't die until, that, that never dies until out a until, new champion. Exactly, until, mm -hmm. 20, until June 2020, basically. Even mm -hmm. if we don't make the playoffs, you know? Like, Which let's say will. we didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we will. Exactly. But, you know, you're still champions. Yeah, you can't take that but away. But I think we're going to, I think we have a chance to go back to the finals. Don't mm -hmm. you? I, it all, I think it all depends on the development of Pascal. Like, yeah. how big of a leap is he going to make? Is yeah, he going to make a leap today. from oh, yeah. an all-star player to like an MVP caliber player? If he can make that kind of jump the same way that Giannis did, I think he could be a, you know, he could OG. be our franchise. Yeah. OG. I was thinking of OG as yeah. well. I've, he looks like Kawhi out there. Mm -hmm. Like he, he does. Defensively? Yeah. I, like I he, see Kawhi in him. Yeah, he looks like this guy that can, he's an anchor, you know? Yeah. So, I, I, Toronto has so much, man. People don't yeah. really notice that. Yeah. And Gasol's not really playing right now. So, That's true. I think when the team's back together, season's really running, mm -hmm. Terrence Davis is more on the bench and, you know, Coming all that off the stuff. bench, but I feel like he's he's going to showcase for it too, though. Yeah. James Davis. Yeah. Young guy, I feel like he'll show up. Mm. It's yeah. Slowly. Slowly. Yeah. Because like we're such a high caliber defensive team that like if you throw in. Think he's ready? I don't think he's ready. Yeah. I just feel like he just needs to slowly see what we're yeah. all capable of doing. Like I'm just saying we, but like what they are capable of doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, with that being said, like you know Ronnie Hollis Jefferson, you know. You know, Terrence yeah, Davis, yeah. Stanley Johnson yeah. and everything. Like, even, we repeated this before, but Nick Nurse even said that they're not defensively sound yet because yeah. of, because we're such at a high level, right? Mm -hmm. So where do you see the adjustment there? Like, are we, now we're at the struggle of having a deeper team now. We really disagree on that one, though. Team is deep. Team is deep, okay, sure. It is Forward-wise, I think Forward -wise, we have yes. a lot of forwards that can kind of switch on mm -hmm. defense, pick and rolls, play it's multiple It's a forwards league, right? Mm -hmm. It's true. I think what really surprised me for home openers at the fact that we had Larry and Van Fleet start. I thought, you know, Nick Nurse might want yeah, to play big cool. ball, but mm -hmm. it was it was good. I, I it worked. It. It, like, it worked. It worked really like well. It. Yeah. yeah. And Van Fleet went off. Exactly. Yeah. So he had his career at what, 34 points 34, career high. Yeah. So yeah. good for him. Siakam yeah. showed Siakam too, yeah. Showed up too. I think I think they're going to be really good this year. Yeah. Like, Did you guys I mean, see that picture of Lowry kind of pointing at the, them? Like there was a photo of Lowry kind of pointing at the two during the game and then somebody photographed it and then they kind of on the bench and they're just pointing at them and then everyone's kind of just cheering. So I guess like it's kind of like a symbol, symbolism of Lowry pointing, hey, this is the franchise, this is the future this of the guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, Do you guys feel that when you see Van Fleet, yeah, Van yeah. Fleet and Siakam? And, yeah, for sure. For sure. I, I felt more with that meme. 
Have you seen that meme when um with oh, Master Splinter and the, and the Ninja the Turtles? Ninja Turtles? <laughs> I know all it's so up random, now? but when they're all growing up, <laughs> yeah. that one actually hit me the most. <laughs> <laughs> that goes Please. to show how big of a fan Ingrid yeah. May is yeah, of yeah, the Raptors, yeah. right? Yeah, that's but, true. I mean, I guess to us, I mean, what do you guys think this championship means? To Raptors fans and to maybe Canada or the basketball community in Canada? Growth. Mm-hmm. Growth is the main word I see. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's a big enhancement for mm-hmm. communities. Um, basketball in general is just huge already, mm-hmm. but um, people didn't know how big it was. Okay. And I feel like this kind of allowed everyone to see it, mm-hmm. see how big it is and to care a little bit more. Mm-hmm. You know, so. I feel like we should also give credit to our past players from the Damon Stoudemire, yeah, for sure. to Vince Carter, Chris Bosh, you know, DeMar Marcus DeRozan. Candy, yeah. Actually, yeah, so like yeah. they've all... Morris Peterson. Yeah. Right? <laughs> There's so many other players, right? You know, yeah. Tracy McGrady and everything too, right? Yeah. There yeah. are so many players that try to build that foundation, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas now like it was built, but then you throw Kawhi in them and then next, you know, it's a championship. I just feel like now there's more awareness now. There's just more yeah. recognition for it, That's especially true. like how a Canadian invented the, the sport and now was dominated by like what most Americans know. It's like back to us. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like it's more of like a sense of pride for us that, that we can actually mm-hmm. represent it. We That's represent true. the sport, right? Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. And so much Canadians are making it to the league now. It's, just, yeah. it's amazing. It's a great time. It's now an eye-opener, right? It's not yeah. just Americans that can be able to play basketball. There's the, those Canadians, right? Like mm-hmm. Jamal Murray. You know, Shy Andrew Gilgis, Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins, Shy Gilgis, yeah. Alexander, Nikhil. Nikhil, Nikhil. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's on that come up too. Did you see him in New Orleans too? So, yeah. like, oh, yeah. I'm oh, excited yeah. for what Canadians are going to bring oh, to yeah. the NBA even more now. So right? That's big. And that's a, I'll, I'll throw in a fun fact. That was actually the most viewed. Hell yeah. That was the most right. viewed home yeah. opener game. Yeah, I saw that. In history. In history. So, so I think million. it was like, yeah. 2.3 million. Yeah. 2.6 million, 2.6? actually. 2.6. Wow. Yeah. Wow. On average, it was 7,000, I think, 700, 700,000, 700, yeah, over 700,000 yeah. uh, views before. That's but now crazy. it's just like 2.6 million. Considering, the fact considering that, that Vince Carter's era happened and all that, yeah. and Vince Carter was a big deal, yeah. home openers for him. Yeah. Considering all that happened and we still hit that milestone, is, that's huge. huge. Yeah. That's huge. Well, I'm excited for what the Raptors can bring for the whole season. Before we end this segment for all about the Raptors, let's bring it up back to James for our Hope Mariosa video of the week. Hoops Mariosa video of the week goes to KCP. This guy asked for the ball and called ISO. And I never seen anything like this. He basically asked for the ball and called for ISO and shoot the three point shot and airball the ball. Back to you, Mark. Well, I would never ask an ISO if I can't really play. <laughs> so, <laughs> KCP, I, fun I fact that. too. He played Those, about 20 minutes in the, in the game, the Lakers game, and scored zero. I saw points. that. 27 minutes. Yeah, 27 minutes and, and five miles. No stats. That's disgraceful. Same thing as he did last year, though. Yeah. No surprise. Exactly. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that segment for all about the Raptors, but stay tuned because when we come back, ball culture at opener at Jurassic Park. <laughs> 